Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Kayla Jukic here. If you're new, if you're not, hello again. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a week of workouts. I haven't done this type of video in a few months. And to say the least, my relationship with the gym <laughs> lately... Honestly, that's for a few reasons. One, I have been so damn busy with work and my schedule. If you guys follow along, I'm self-employed and my business is seasonal. So when we're in season, it's pretty crazy. It's starting to come to an end. I'm going to be done within the next few weeks, which is really nice. So I'm going to start settling back into my fitness and gym routine. But literally, at least for the past like month and a half, maybe even two months, I think I've been coming to the gym like twice a week, which is so unusual for me because usually I come like four or five times a week I've been thinking about it a lot lately and it's crazy that I'm still like holding on to as much muscle as I have I've definitely lost some which is totally okay anyways last week I got back on to three days a week so I'm gonna be doing like a push pull leg split for the next couple of weeks just so that I can get back into it and ease into it I'm also feeling a lot better mentally I think I was struggling a little bit with motivation as well I was really tired and just didn't feel like coming to the gym as much but now I'm actually like feeling good with my workouts like cutting it down and having a little bit of a break so like I said this week I'm going to be showing you a push pull leg split so this is three days a week at the gym I'm not necessarily going to be going push pull legs I think I'm going to do pull today so back and biceps and then tomorrow I will do legs and then later on in the week I'll do push I'm rambling on a little bit I'm sitting outside of the gym so let's get in Welcome to day one's workout. We're doing a pull workout, which is back and biceps. I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover just to kind of go through everything that I do, how many reps, how many sets, and some form tips. So to start, we're doing some dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching is super important before your workout because you want to warm up your body. So as you can see, all of these exercises are movement. So I'm swinging my arms from side to side. I'm doing arm circles front to back. I use a long resistance band and I'm just trying to open up my arms and my shoulders and my back and all of those good things. Now, once I'm warmed up, we're going to be getting into lat pull downs. My gym recently got this machine, so I started using it in my new program. I did four sets of 10 reps. Now these are working sets. I also did one set before as like a little warm up set since this was my first exercise. Now moving into the second exercise, I absolutely love this machine. We're doing a high neutral grip row. If you don't have something like this, your gym might have like a different variation of a high row, just use something like that. I love this machine because you can do double grip like I am, or you can do single grip, but I am doing a single arm exercise later on. So I opted to do double grip here. I did three sets of eight reps. So, so I'm going with a little bit of a smaller rep range because I'm using heavy weight, I'm using 45 pounds here. Next, we're moving into single arm low cable rows. Now, I totally understand most gyms don't have this type of machine, so you can totally just opt for a bent over dumbbell row, but I like to use this. Uh, this is one of my favorite machines, honestly, and I just programmed it into my new program. Unfortunately, when I was at the gym today doing it, again, uh, they got rid of it. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know when, because I literally just filmed this last week, but I'm so upset. Anyways, I'm just rambling on. I did three sets of 10 reps per arm. So as you can see, I have one leg up. I'm pretty much mimicking the same as a bent over row as if I was using a bench. It's just, you know, I have a place for my arm, a little bit lower elevation for my knee or my leg. And you really want to think about pulling the weight to your hip. So it's in a little bit of a rowing motion. You don't want to just pull up. You want to row it to your hip. This feels so good. I'm just so sad my gym got rid of this machine. At this point in the workout, my back starts to get a little bit tired and sore. So we're going to be hitting biceps. I'm doing barbell bicep curls, four sets of 15 reps. Now, if you've been following any of my other videos or my past week of workout videos, I have been struggling with tennis elbow in my right arm. Um, the past couple of months, it's actually been better because I have been going lighter weight, higher reps. I also did take some time off, but now it's feeling good and I kind of want to keep it that way. So I'm continuing to do the low weight, high rep. And now moving into the last exercise of the day, we're doing back extensions. I love these. I don't work on my lower back enough. So I definitely have programmed that back in 
to my workout split. Now this is definitely different than a glute hyperextension. You can see here that I am keeping my back straight. Versus in a glute hyperextension, your back is usually rounded and I am holding the weight down so that I can force my body to have this hip hinge movement. And I completed that for three sets of 10 reps. Now, what I started recently doing is adding functional core workouts into both of my upper body days. So I'm doing it after this pull day, and then you're gonna see the exact same core workout um, at the end of my push day. I don't think I recorded it, but it's the exact same thing. So what I do is I hold a kettlebell above my head and I'm doing, I believe, 10 reps per side. And I do that twice, so it ends up being 20 per leg. So as you can see, keeping my core super, super tight. This is really important. You want to hold strong. I've been really working on this. When I first started doing it, my balance was crazy. And as you can see, I'm like a rock. I'm pretty much not moving, which is great. That's kind of where you want to be. So what's really important here or the best like cue that I have for you is you're going to breathe in and you want to brace your core. So Basically what bracing your core means is or like how I can translate it to you is you want to hold your breath in your core as if somebody is about to punch you. That's honestly the best way to describe it. You know when you like flex when somebody's about to punch that's literally what you're doing here. As you can see here I'm doing standing around the world so I do two sets five reps per side so I'm doing five clockwise five counterclockwise Again, you can see my core is really tight and I'm standing strong. I'm not swaying or moving. And then after that, I'm getting into an elbow full body plank. I do this twice for 20 seconds each. Moving into day two, we are doing a leg day. So like upper body day, dynamic stretching before is super important. I would say it's even more important on leg day, but definitely it's important for both days. So you really wanna make sure you're doing it. In this case, we are trying to open up and just warm up our legs and more importantly, our hip flexors. I don't know about you, but I personally have a very tight hip flexors. So I spend a lot of time doing this probably 10 minutes at least every single leg day. This is the exact same routine I do. So as you can see, I'm doing a lot of hip swings. I'm going from left to right, front to back, front to side. If I don't do this, I will 100% get hurt. So I don't really have a set number of like reps or sets for this. I kind of just do it until I feel warm and ready. Once I feel like I am, I started with barbell back squats. So again, I did one warm up set and then I moved into my working sets of three. When I'm working at a squat rack, for example, like the barbell back squats, I just opt to do barbell RDLs as well since I'm already here. So I did four sets, eight reps. So I'm going a little bit heavier here. I'm doing a glute focus version. So I'm really hinging at the hips, pushing those hips and butt back with a bend in the knee to really feel it in the glutes. Next exercise, we're doing hip thrusts. I really find when I do a barbell or a dumbbell RDL, and then I do hip thrusts right after, my glutes are burning and on fire, and that is definitely what I like and want. So I always do that. I'm opting for a machine version just for convenience. I did four sets, 10 reps. After that, I moved into the leg extension. This is honestly one of my least favorite exercises, but it has been growing on me. I did three sets of 10 reps. And then last but not least, I'm so sorry about the lighting here. I don't know what happened. I know it is so bright, just bear with me. I'm doing these seated abductions, three sets of 12 reps, really burning out my hip flexors, the side glutes, all of that. Last but definitely not least, we're moving into the third workout of the week. We're doing a push workout, which is shoulders, chest, and triceps. So to start the workout out, I obviously did dynamic stretching. It is the exact same thing I showed you on the pull day. So I didn't record it because I just didn't need to do it. You already saw it. I started off this workout doing this machine seated shoulder press type of thing. I usually opt for dumbbells, but I was very, very tired this day. So I was trying to use machines a little bit more. I did three sets, 10 reps. Then I moved into this machine version of lateral raises again for the same reason, three sets, 10 reps. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I would have preferred dumbbells. Definitely there. That machine for some reason gives my elbow a little bit of pain. Then I moved into these seated chest flies. I did three sets of 12 reps. So I go a little bit higher in reps here, more of a moderate weight. 
After that, I did this vertical seated chest press. I don't know why I love this one. It is so good. Really like thinking about sticking my chest out, honestly, like puffing it up. Just the hand placement on this machine, I don't know. I just really feel it in my chest. I like it a lot. And then to end the workout off, I did this seated tricep pushdown. There's actually another version that I prefer more than this, but somebody was using it. So I opted to use this one. Since this is the only tricep exercise I am doing for the day, we're doing high sets. So five sets, 10 reps. I'm using a very heavy weight. I have, as you can see, 45 pounds on each side. 